How to withdraw money from Binance to a bank account. In this quick video, I will show you how to withdraw money from Binance to your bank. Please note nothing in this video is financial advice and if you want personalized financial advice, you should seek a licensed professional. Also, if you're looking for a beginner's tutorial on how to use Binance, I've placed a more in-depth video in the description below. Now it's worth watching this video all the way to the end before starting the process because this withdrawal method might not suit everyone. If you're in the UK, you've probably noticed that Binance no longer supports direct GBP withdrawals. Instead, we'll need to transfer the funds to another exchange that does support GBP withdrawals like Coinbase or Kraken. In this video, I'll be using Kraken. If you don't already have a Kraken account, I've got an affiliate link in the description below. If you use it, I will get a small kickback, which really helps support the channel and I'll be forever thankful. So first of all, you'll want to log into your Binance account and convert your crypto into a coin that's cheap and easy to send. I personally use USDT. For simplicity, you can use the convert function here. And in the top, you would select the crypto that you hold already. And in the bottom, you'll select the crypto that you want to convert to. So if you were following this tutorial, you would convert to USDT here, and then you would enter your amount and then press convert. For those more comfortable with advanced interfaces, you can use the spot trading page. I have another video in the description below that covers that. But for this video, I'm just keeping it simple. Whichever coin you are converting to, just make sure the coin and network are supported by the exchange you are transferring to. Before sending anything, I recommend checking what withdrawal fees your target exchange charges for sending GBP to a bank account, but I'll cover this more later. So anyway, for now you want to go to your other exchange, so in my case Kraken, and we want to get our wallet address for the coin you just converted to. So in my case, I'm going to click transfer in the top right, then I'm going to click deposit. Here I'm going to search for USDT and then I'm going to pick my network. So in this case, I'm going to use the Solana network as it's less than one minute to transfer. And now I have my wallet address. I'm going to copy this and then I'm going to go back to Binance. So back on Binance, if we go to our assets page here and then click withdraw in the top right. Here I'm going to pick the coin I want to withdraw. So in my case, USDT. Then I'm going to paste in the wallet address that we copied from our other exchange. So in my case, what I copied from Kraken. This has identified that it is a Sol wallet address, but you need to make sure that the network you pick matches that of the other exchange where we got our wallet address from. Then we're going to key in the amount we want to withdraw. So I'm going to withdraw the max amount and you then want to double check the details and then press withdraw. You then have one last chance to review this. So I'm going to press continue. You may have to enter some MFA details. And then you will need to wait for your transaction to process. So after some amount of time, your transaction will process. And then if we go over to Kraken, I can now see that my balance has arrived in my Kraken account, which you can see there is $37.78. 28 pounds is the converted amount in pounds sterling. So now it's in Kraken, you can sell it for GBP. If you're on Kraken, you now have two options. In this video, I am keeping it as simple as possible. So I will be using the non-pro interface, but if you're comfortable with the more advanced Kraken Pro, I've linked a video for that in the description where it has lower fees. On the Kraken homepage, you want to click on sell in the top right. You want to then pick your coin that you want to sell. So in my case, I'm going to sell my USDT. I'm then going to press max and you can see there that I will get a total of 27 pounds and 35 P and I'm going to confirm that. If I then go back to the home page, now, if I click on transfer in the top right, I can click on withdraw. And then I want to click my pound sterling balance here. You will then need to pick your withdrawal method. The withdrawal methods offered vary by where you are located in the world. 
It's also worth mentioning that the withdrawal fees vary by the method and currency you pick. Your bank account also needs to be able to receive payments in the payment method you choose. And not all banks accept all payment methods, so you will need to check this with your bank first. I would recommend checking the fees on Kraken for your currency before transferring your crypto from Binance because they can be different for each currency and you may also be limited by what your bank accepts. I'm going to choose FPS here because there's only a £1.95 fee and I'm just going to key in my bank account details here and I'm going to press continue here. Personally, I would always transfer a small amount of money first just to check that you haven't keyed in any details incorrectly. So in my case, I'm going to transfer £10 and I'm going to press review. And then you can see there that I will receive £10 with a fee of £1.95 and I'll receive £8.05 at my bank account. And then I'm going to confirm that. And now my withdrawal has been initiated. And that has now actually arrived in my bank account within the space of two minutes. It's worth mentioning as well that your bank might charge additional fees on top of Kraken's. Transfers can take anywhere from a few hours to a couple of business days, depending on your region and the method you choose. It's also worth mentioning if you haven't used your bank account previously to deposit onto Kraken, then you may have to make a deposit onto Kraken first using that account to prove you own it. This depends on which country you live in and the banking system. So anyway, that is how to withdraw money from Binance to bank account. In this video, I focused on the simplest method, but again, Kraken Pro offers lower fees if you're happy with a more advanced interface. If you wanna check out how to do that, then I recommend watching this video next. If you got any value from this video, then please like and subscribe as I upload new finance and crypto content every week. It's been Ollie from Get Geek Finance. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.